I recently made a video describing a very basic setup to hook up your computer with a mixing board using an emu tracker. I still think that's a good way to hook things up if you only need to record one track at a time. I used to do a lot of that where I would take a drum track and play the bass along with it and record that. Perhaps then I'd record guitar or vocals or piano, whatever. Well, since then I've had a lot of questions from folks wanting to record more than one track at a time. Perhaps they have a set of drums set up with more than a few mics set up around the drums, or perhaps they're recording a whole band with five or six members. You can do this, but it does take a different setup, and that's the purpose of this video. The first thing I tell people they're going to need is a mixing board with enough strips for the amount of inputs they're going to need to use. The one pictured here is the one I have. It's the Behringer 1832FX. If you check the prices of these, you'll find you can get a decent mixing board for very little money. Now the next thing you'll need is an interface to go into your computer. Your basic computer sound card would have only one or two inputs. And for an interface, you're going to want one with enough inputs to do for what you need to record. I have this one, the M-Audio Delta 1010. It has 10 ins and outs, but two of them are digital, so this gives me eight mono analog ins and outs to my computer. So that's the equipment. Now let's look at how to set it all up. Again, there are more than a few ways to do this, but I'll show you exactly how I do it here now presently. Notice on the back of my mixer, the first six strips or channels have their own channel inserts. Well, I use the first six audio inputs from my M-Audio Delta 1010 to go into these channel inserts. Most mixing boards will have this capability, and the functions will be similar. These six colorful quarter-inch jacks you see here are running to the first six inputs of my Delta 1010. Notice how these are not pushed in all the way? This is referred to as the tip and sleeve method. If I push these in all the way, they cut out the sound going through the mixing board and through the system, through the speakers and headphones. I don't want that to happen because I use it that way. This is my direct hardware monitoring. So I push them in only to the first click, or the tip. By doing it this way, it will send the signal pre-fader to my computer. Pre-fader means the signal will not be affected by any movement of the sliders or the EQ. This has its advantages while recording. A singer might want the volume louder in their headphones after I've already got a good mix. So I can slide that strip up a little more without affecting my recording level. This is the M-Audio control panel. It gets installed when you set up the Delta 1010. Here is where I can make all my settings, including the input levels for each of the inputs on the Delta 1010. Now finally, in my audio recording software, I will set up the tracks to record those channels. Sonar allows you to arm as many tracks as you need to record all at once. So that makes a real nice setup for multi-track recording.